and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. When we last left off, we had just made it to Crescent Lake, and yes, I did take the long way on purpose. And what we're going to find here is pretty much the same that we're going to find in every town, right? So we're going to find the item shop. Nothing new here. We've got tents and colleges, potions, and antidotes, all of which come in handy at one point or another, but I don't feel like buying those now. We are going to find an armor shop. And you notice that I have a ton of gill. Watch that stuff disappear like you wouldn't believe. Okay, it looks like we need a mithril shield for fallout. Let's go ahead and get him that now. Uh, mithril helm, mithril, oh, mithril gloves. That's good as well. We're going to get those. I'll equip everything at once as usual. Uh, there's the little church where you can revive everybody. Let's go here talk to the man at the weapon shop okay that's apparently crap uh, hammer and then axe mithril axe I don't believe uh, Fallout had an axe to this point um, it has 25 as opposed to 23 so we're gonna go ahead and get it uh, I think it's worth it to be honest I'm not I don't remember exactly but I do think it is worth it okay that guy's sleep dancing I was going to say walking, but he's definitely dancing. That good for nothing husband of mine. Oh, I found your husband and talked to him already, I think. And then, is that it for NPCs here? Like, really? That's it. There's nothing. Nothing here. It's a basic town. There's gravestones, like, everywhere. They all say R.A.P. You know, they don't have names on them or anything. But when we go to the, the magic... Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, why do you hate me, game? Okay, so you can cure stone. You can warp out of dungeons. Uh, you can raise the party's defense, and you can raise the party's evasion. Guess how much of that we're doing right now? None. None right now. I'll, I'll, I'll get to it. We might do it before we leave, but... Holy crap. Okay, so we got Bolt 3. I definitely want that. Uh, Reaper, I don't think I want that. Quake, I do want that. And then Stun, I don't think I want either. But yeah, good lord, you thought I had a lot of money, didn't you? I'm already strapped for cash, and I haven't bought these things yet. But if you go over here... What's this? We find a circle of 12 sages. Yeah. No, I just know. I didn't count them. So what's up? I am Lugan. Oh, I remember your... Yeah. Yeah, that's, you're the guy that they talked about at the beginning. Our path is set. Sweet. Oh, it came to land guard by stars and prophecies. How is it? Is it up to your expectations? I don't think so. Earth, fire, water, and wind. The fortunes of chaos attempts to seize these elemental forces. Why? That's pretty much what this guy said, but in less detail. So, what's the point of talking to you? The fiends have gone to the altars. Well, I kind of already knew that since I defeated one of them. How is that even possible? The wind fiend appeared 400 years ago, the water 200 years ago, and they destroyed the northern civilization. I bet they have the best armor and weapons in the game, that northern civilization. Now, well, you're gonna have to dig them up or something. Uh, not anymore, he doesn't. I killed his ass. Okay, of course. The water fiend? Oh. Then the mis- only then can the mystery shrine this is there's no mystery there doing it, right? Only you can do it. Yeah, no. Uh, but now it wakens 200 years before prophecy foretold. Well, you foretold that they were going to wake up anyways? Okay, so we have to go to Mount Gog. You feed the earth feet and restore the crystal's light. But, <laughs> oh, great. So we awoke the fire fiend. My bad. Oh, when we get a canoe. And we get the, the item get music for getting a canoe. Sweet. Yeah, this is the only game that I can think of where you don't... Where there's a canoe and there's a full-on ship. And you get the ship first. It doesn't make sense to me at all. Shouldn't you get the canoe first? I'm just saying. 
Okay, so I'm going to decide what I need to get here, and I'll meet you back after I've healed up and we're ready to move on. Okay, I'm back, and I've been living up like a madman. And what we have here are centipedes, and I hate centipedes. They're a new enemy in this place, and when you get four of them, it sucks. I did buy Bolt 3 and Quake for Novin. I believe I did show you Poison. Uh, these two right here, Poison and Quake, are instant death spells. We're going to show off Quake right now. Hopefully it lands, because I do not like centipedes. They poison, they do damage, oh, and they flee. Awesome. Right before the quake. But it missed all of them anyways. Can Luke take him out? Yes, he can. So, we're gonna go for a poison now. And that's the problem with most instant death spells. They never freaking hit. Go, poison! I got one! I will take one! And look how much damage they've been doing to me. Okay, so we killed off three of them. We get 895 experience and 900 gil. So, I am up to level 20. As you saw with Novin, I have Bolt and Quake. He can actually use those now. Uh, Fire 3 and Poison, if I didn't already show those off. In terms of what Finny has, she has Cure 3, Dia 3, and Life 1. Uh, she also has Stona, just Stona for now, because the other two we can't get because she has to be a white wizard to learn them. Yeah, I'll get into wizards later, but as you can see, we have mages, not wizards, so they can't use those. Okay, I am going to go heal up, and I'll meet you back right outside Crescent Lake where we can move on to our next destination. Alright, and I'm back. What I want to show you here is what I have equipped on everybody, just in case you want to make this journey with me. I'm level 20. Mithril everything on Fallout. Leather cap, silver on le leather gloves on Luke. Mithril hammer, same defense for Finny. Power staff, same defense for Novin. In terms of magic, you already saw that. What I have in items, I have 10 tents, 5 cottages, 50 antidotes, and 99 potions. Yes, I'm maxed out on potions. And yes, I do have 127,278 gil. For all of you saying, wow, that's a lot, baller. Oh my god, you're never going to be able to spend that out. Oh, you naive little gamer, you. So, you remember how... We had to walk all the way around before. Well, now we have the canoe. So, fuck you, geography. We need to get back to our ship. Because the game's gonna throw one dick move after another in this little video that I'm setting up for you guys right now. Oh my gosh. Uh, because we had to go all the way into Nowheresville, and they gave us practically no hints on how to... They do expect you to level up quite a bit. Uh, that is why I'm up to level 20. It is necessary. Yeah, you see this right here? Yeah, you can just dock right there and then get off into your canoe. I don't know how that works, like, physically or logistically, but it works in-game. And yeah, this is us in the canoe. We're the gray dude. Uh, this is the way that you want to go. I don't want to bother showing you guys the rest of the ways. The fights here are extremely hard, and I'm very lucky that I didn't get any until now. But now that I do have one, we have a Neocho. Ochu. Neocho. Uh, we're doing this a little out of order, not, you know, not on purpose. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use fire. No, wait. Bolt. I'm going to use Bolt on it, because it should be weak to Bolt. Uh, there sh we should have fought a regular Ochu first before I so showed this guy, but it didn't work out. So we're going to see the Neo Chu first, and hopefully that's enough to kill him. No! Oh, uh, and he gets another attack off, and he gets a three-hit combo. Oh, man. Everything on this river is insanely tough. Yeah, 797 experience, 500 gil. You don't get much gil for these fights, but you get a ton of experience. You don't want to go north there. You want to go... Oh, still went the wrong way. I thought I had this memorized by now. This is the way you want to go. There's our destination right there. But we have to go the long way around to get there because we still have no way to get over these mountains. And I bet you there's a new enemy here. No, there's not. It's another Neochu. What the hell? But look, they were almost at the end of the river. 
There we go. And yes, we just pick up our canoe and keep walking. Are there new enemies here? No, they're just freaking tarantulas. But we are headed to the cave here. And what's this cave actually supposed to be called? It's the Ice Cavern. Yes, it's the mandatory ice place in the ice dungeon in Final Fantasy. Every Final Fantasy has one. It's just mandatory. And I bet you there's new stuff here. Oh my god, there's cockatrices and mummies. At least the level design so far is pretty basic. In fact, it's a little bit too basic. It's a narrow hallway. What the hell? More mummies and cockatrices? I don't think I've mentioned it. The reason that cockatrices are hated so much is that uh, a regular attack from them is enough to stone you. Uh, we want to go down first to the second level of the cavern. And do we find anything new here? Oh my god, we have upgraded pis Pisco Demons. <laughs> okay, so these are Mind Flayers, and I assume they're going to flay my mind. And apparently they're easy as hell. And they don't even get an attack off. They give me a whole shit ton of gill though, so that's always worth it. Those were not nearly as scary as I thought. Is this just a big squ-